This video about how to make a coil gun and here the high voltage has been used that can kill you. This is an educational video. Don't try this at home. See and have fun. The coil gun depends entirely on the power of magnetism. There are two types of magnets, electromagnet and normal magnet. Electromagnet is meant to create a coil gun because you can increase the power of electromagnet as you like. Before creating the coil gun, you must know how to create an electromagnet. This is the subject of childhood school. If the copper is swept in an iron rod and if the copper wire is inserted into the electric, then the iron rod becomes a magnet. This type of magnet is called electromagnet. You need this type of coil. I found this coil and an old tape cassette player. Or you can create one for yourself. When I power up this coil with 12 volt, the iron bar it holds magnetic field until I stop giving it power. If you look closely at this, then you can see the iron rod is oxalate very fast. I use here this short time oxalate for my project. Let's find out how this gun can be made properly. This video is sponsored by GLC PCB. Only $2 for 10 PCBs at nice quality and fast delivery. Upload your garbage on GLC PCB to make your project more professional. If you send voltage to this coil for a very short time, just then the bullet will move forward very quickly. A coil gun is created using this process. But now the question is how to adjust this voltage for a short time. For this reason, I have used an optical sensor here, which is connected to the end of this coil. The coil will be closed only when the bullet goes through this optical sensor. As a result, the bullet can retention the top speed. This optical sensor will work according to this diagram. It is understood as usual, more current, more turn on the coil and result a more speed of bullet. Now I need 300 volt to increase the bullet speed of the gun. For this reason I have used a 300 volt 40 watt inverter. If you want to know how this inverter has been created, then enter my channel and watch this video. The video link is contains description. From this inverter, you will get 300V AC, but I need DC voltage here. So I have used a full bridge rectifier diode to create DC volt from AC voltage. I used a 150MW 300V capacitor here to store the voltage. And you need a thyristor to handle this DC 300 voltage or use as a gun trigger switch. Now I need something like gun frame. That's why I used a piece of wood here. And on the woods I draw a very nice gun shape with a pin. Now I cut out this of the shape. After this hard work fitly and finally I make a wooden gun. Once everything is set to the right place and let's check it once. I need some bullets for my gun. That's why I use here a big nail and cut it in two pieces. Now my bullet is ready. I put the nail in the coil and insert the voltage into this circuit. I charge this capacitor by pressing this button. It is important to close the switch when the charge is full. Now my gun is ready to fire. You can see that when I press the switch, the bullet is throughout immediately. I fit inverter board and AC filter board on the top side of this gun. I set this coil with this wooden frame held to side tape. Other hand I also fit a optical sensor for monitoring bullet. Please remember one thing, this gun is operate in 300V DC. If you don't know any basic idea of electronics, please don't try at home. One single minor mistake can kill you. I used here 3 3.7V 2.5mA battery. 
I use this battery here in series. That means it's gonna operate in 11.3 volt. After completing this toy coil gun and bullet, now time to check. That's why I go outside, I put bullet in the gun and charge the capacitor and fire. This is awesome, right? And now it looks very nice to see it. I hope guys you will like this video. This video is very useful. So you can share this video with your friends. If you like this video then hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon to stay updated.